So you've heard that less is more with cryo hops, but how much less and how much more? We've created the cryo calculator to help you understand what the cryo difference could look like in your brewery. This tool was designed to help you see the cost benefit of converting part of your hop bill to cryo pellets. It is meant as a guide and does not guarantee results. First, choose the currency and measurement units used in your brewery. The cryo calculator offers both imperial and metric and displays results in Canadian or US dollars, euros, or pounds. Next, fill in the information specific to your brewery. All fields must be given a value to the calculator to calculate. If you typically knock out multiple turns to a fermenter, we suggest using your fermenter volume rather than kettle volume for the standard batch size. Then fill in your brewery's revenue per barrel. If you aren't sure about your standard FV yield, it can be calculated by dividing the amount of bright beer from a typical batch by the amount of cool wort you put in the fermenter. The FV yield increase will default to a start with a value of 6%. This is an average yield increase reported by customers but of course will vary by brewery, equipment, and process. A lower end yield increase will look like two to 3% with higher end increases up to eight to 10%. You can play with this number to understand the potential highs and lows in revenue increase for your brewery. T90 used per batch is the total mass of hot pellets used per batch, not barrel. Cryo hops can be used anywhere in the brewing process but for the purposes of this calculator, just include the dry hop charge. For the cost per pound, you can average the differing hop varieties you use most, or just input the price of the hop you use most frequently. The same goes for cryo cost per pound. Next, enter the number of batches switched to cryo per year. You may not wish to jump all in and instead switch one recipe to see how cryo works for you. You can add the value that represents roughly all your annual batches or the number of batches you produce for one beloved brand. This is up to you. And of course, you can change the numbers to see how the cryo difference can impact your brewery at different usage rates. Once you input all the values, just scroll down and see your potential savings. Still have questions? You can reach out to our Brewing Technical Help Desk at brewinghelp at yakimachief.com or reach out to your regional sales representative.